Okay, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna learn four each. So, let's start with, uh, an array. Let's call this array. One, two, three, four. Nah, I'm not gonna do semi calls. You can do them. So, we're gonna do a regular for each loop. So, a regular for loop is like i equals to, like, you know, zero. Array length is. Less than i, and we're gonna add two plus plus. We're in console log. Let's run this guy. See, one, two, three, four. Cool. All right, so that's like a regular, you know, we're get, like, you know, we're iterating every single time. Like, basically, uh, loop is like, for example, our console log. Maybe it's not fine. Because, never mind, let's copy and paste this, sorry. Should be fine now. So that's one, and then two, and then um, it starts from like zero, one, two, three, four. So you get, so you get, you get it, it's looping until it ends. So, the hardest part when I first started learning loops is like, this part, like, why, why does this do that? Let's do this with a while loop. For example, change to that's fine. With a while loop, console. Let's go and paste this because, like, the clacking keyboard here reminded people some people so. Okay, let's do a while. So a while loop is put I. I don't know how to do a while loop. Oh, let's give that a shot. Thank you for that. Yeah. So let's do like a while loop style. So a while loop basically you have to define a variable, starts at zero, and then the length of this array is four. So I'll show you. Con paste. Let me just leave the old virtuals on. Oops. I don't worry about that. So. So the length of the array is 4 because there's 1, 2, 3, 4. But there's 4 items in the array. So. We, we, count, we start to count at zero. The next one's be one, and it's be three. Next is gonna be three and four. It keeps on printing until this this doesn't become true anymore. So that's what it's doing right there. This. So let's get back to the for each loop. 
So we're going to do it for each. And we're going to iterate it as many times. So it's going to iterate four times. And we're going to place a function in here. The name is it's called arg for argument. That's fine. Console log arc. And we're gonna run this guy. Let's run this guy. See? One, two, three, four. You calm this guy out. I can tell this thing's a bit broken. Oh, there we go. Now it's calming it out. It's clear. One, two, three, four. So that, this is a for each. So it's basically it's doing this thing, but in this little method. So you're passing a function into a function. So the count is, this one's a bit easier because for each, um, so the thing is functions can pass in functions. Like a function, in JavaScript you can pass in anything. Like arrays can hold functions, strings, booleans. Like anything, like they get anything can hold anything. That's why I love JavaScript. Functions can, can pass in functions, they can pass in objects. Like arrays can even hold objects and functions. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Like for example, a function can um, can like pass in this an object. I need an example of that. The high order function. Yeah, here's an example. So we have this example. We're gonna alert these two, so we're gonna create a function. And we're also gonna create an object. And we're gonna We're gonna invoke the function within this object right here. And it should alert. I can delete these two. Um Comp this out, comp this out, comp this out. So, yeah, no more doing this stuff. This works. Cool, right? And that's how you would so pass so the argument. This is a a property. This object. So it's like it's like an object. This is like the variables. You can also create another function. You can create like an empty function. Like uh, let's call this method. Let's call this guy alert. And let's call this alert dot alert. Why won't work? Mm. 
that is no error, so forty-eight. Yeah, it's all good. Is not there should be arc. There we go. There we go. Sorry. And there you have it. So yeah, let's recap on the four each. One more time. We're gonna create a variable called arc. Um one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get as well as I iterate. Iterate. Nah, let's call that num. Sorry. Oh, we can always do alert in here. Alert. No. Okay, sure. One, two, three, four. Bam. So, and that's how you do a for each.